Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to add sound and music to your games. To get started, go ahead and go to roblox.com forward slash develop and click new experience. We're going to create a new game. And we're just waiting for Studio to load. As soon as you, you get this page, click on Flat Terrain. And now, in this tutorial, we're going to add the sound to a single part. So let's add a part to your game. You can pick anything you like. I'm going to pick a sphere. And I'm going to move my camera to my object. All right, and I'm going to scale it to make it larger. Change the color to anything you like. I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to change the name of my part to red wall. Now to add a sound or music to your part is extremely simple. All you need to do is you need to add a sound object to that part. So just go to the part that you want to add the sound object, click on it, and click the plus sign next to that part. You're going to search for sound and select the sound object. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a sound file. So to get the sound file, you need the sound file ID. So go to your toolbox and under the um, marketplace tab just select audio and these are all the sound files that you can select to put inside that sound object you can even search for a song that you like for example if i want to search for hello and the, these are all the songs that has like a hello in it. So you, if you find what you like, you can just right click and do copy asset ID. In this case, I have already downloaded a sound file into my inventory. So I'm going to use that one for this, tutor for this tutorial. So I'm going to go to my audio and same, same as before, I'm going to do a right click to copy the asset ID. Now that I have the asset ID, I'm going to go back to my sound object here. You can just go ahead and close this window here. Go back to your sound object and go to your properties window. You want to search for sound ID, which is right here. I'm going to click in it and I'm going to right click and paste. It's going to paste the sound ID that you have copied earlier into here. Be sure to hit enter after you've done that. And now you can see your sound ID is, has been recorded. You can even play to preview the sound. Otra vez me that's interesting. That's not the sound file that I wanted. So let me try it again. I probably didn't copy the sound file that I, I want. So I'm going to go back to my tool, toolbox. And this time I'm going to make sure I copy the sound ID. So I'm going to right click on my sound file. And then I'm going to copy asset ID. I thought I did that, but somehow it didn't work. So let me try it again. I'm going to paste it again here and hit enter because apparently the other sound is not the sound file that I wanted. And th this is the right sound file that I want. So now we're all set. Just uh, uh, one more thing you need to do is you need to click on playing. So as soon as you enter the game, the sound is going to start to play immediately. 
And if you like to loop the song, you can check this box here to loop the song. Now if you press play, you can immediately hear the music in the background. But with the um, sound file that I have selected, I think it skips like the first few seconds before it starts. So there it is. After a few seconds, you can hear the music playing. Alright, so uh, it's very easy to add music to your game. That's all you needed to do. Now, on the other hand, if you want to have control over when your music is going to start to play and when it stops, then instead of clicking the um, playing here, you just want to uncheck that box. You can uncheck the loop box here too. And you want to create your own script to to tell the script when to play the file and when to stop playing. To do that is uh, pretty simple. Just go to your part, go to the red wall and add a script. In your script, first you want to declare your part. So I'm going to say local and my part is the red wall. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say red wall equals to script dot parent because my script is here so the parent is the red ball the parent of the script is the red ball so I say the red ball is equal to script dot parent makes sense anyway so let's uh, move forward so now I'm gonna say red ball so I'm gonna select my red ball the the uh, declare variable red ball which is going to represent my red ball here i'm going to say red ball dot sound because the sound file is under the red ball so i'm going to say dot sound and then i'm going to do colon play so i'm using the play function to play my sound file in this case the sound file is the music file that i have selected so this is gonna play the music, right? And if you want, you can say, um, let's say wait for 10 seconds before you start to play. So this way you control when to play your song whenever you like, right? So in this case, I'm gonna wait for 10 seconds before I start to play my song. And then I'm gonna play the song for 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna stop playing. So I'm gonna say red ball dot sound colon and in this case I'm using the stop function to stop the music all right let's take a look so remember we said um, to wait for 10 seconds and then play right so give it about 10 seconds then we should hear the music starting to play. There it is. I assume that's 10 seconds already. And after 20 seconds, the music should stop. And there it is. All right, so that's how you add sound and music to your games in Roblox.